All I see is you trying to live my life for me. You get him a car, or let him sort himself. I'll call to tell you about it later, please. Give me your car. <laughs> you fucking half breed. Listen, I worry this guy. So make I go our house. You know who our papa be. We both know that I'm not the only one in this relationship. If I have, please forgive me, but please do not separate us. Hello guys, welcome back to Ninjaji's Direct. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you top 10 hidden facts about Clayton Joshua that will shock you. Since the handsome Nollywood actor Clayton Joshua came into limelight, fans have been wondering and craving to know more details about him, as he seems to be very quiet and a private person who shares little or no personal information about himself on social media. So therefore, after a careful research, here are the top eating facts about Clayton Joshua you probably don't know. In this video, I'll be talking about his real age, his real parent, the reason why he doesn't kiss any Nollywood actresses in movies, his girlfriend, and many other hidden secrets you need to know about him. So watch the full video to the end so you don't miss the important part of this video. The first fact here is his full name. Real name, Clayton Joshua Ezewili. My name is Clayton Joshua Ezewili. I am an actor. I'm a fashion model, uh, a businessman. He is from Edo State, Nigerian. He is Esan by tribe. The Esan people are an ethnic group of the southern part of Nigeria and is a Christian by religion. Clinton Joshua Ezewili was born on the 23rd of June. His year of birth is not known at the time of making this video. The actor hasn't mentioned his year of birth anywhere, but he is considered to be in his early 20s, between 20 years old to 23 years old. Another fact about Clinton Joshua is that he was born and raised in Lagos State. Nigerian, where he attended his primary and secondary school education. I'm from Edo State, Nigeria. I was born in Lagos, brought up in Lagos, schooled in Lagos. Another fact you need to know is that Clayton Joshua is currently an undergraduate student in the University of Lagos, Unilag, where he is currently studying civil engineering. Clayton Joshua is going to be in his final year in Unilag next year. Because of the striking resemblance Clinton Joshua shared with the late Nollywood actor Nuna Obikwe, people tend to believe that he might be related to Clayton Joshua, but this is not true. They are not related at all, and they are not even from the same state. Some facts about Clayton Joshua's family. Clayton Joshua was born into a Christian family, so his parents, Mr. Ezewele, and his mother, Mrs. Ezewele. He has two siblings, two sisters. But Clayton has kept his family away from social media and hasn't spoken about it or shared any information online relating to his real parents and siblings or relatives. But Clayton Joshua has shared a beautiful picture of his lovely mom in celebration of her birthday on his Instagram story. Another fact about Clayton Joshua is that Clayton Joshua developed Developed a passion for entertainment from his tender age, participating in social activities in school. After his secondary school education, in 2019, Clayton Joshua started pursuing his career in modeling. From there, he was signed to a modeling company and agency called Zen Models Management in 2020. As a model, Clayton Joshua is a professional model and a fashionista who has often took part in photo shoots and runway shows. He has graced the cover of many magazines and endorse various brands. Clayton Joshua has been a model for quite some years, modeling for top brands before becoming an actor. Clayton Joshua worked on the GT Co Fashion Weekend by GT Bank in November 2022, as well as the VVS Lagos show in July 2023, and many others. Clayton Joshua decided to pursue his dream as becoming an actor in 2023. He was discovered by a director, Ben Cassie, on Instagram. After the Nollywood movie director, Ben Cassie, reached out to him on his Instagram account and asked him if he would like to act. Clayton Joshua accepted the offer and soon after, he ventured into the Nollywood industry. How did I get into through text? I think I don't, I don't really remember what. I don't know if it was on Instagram or WhatsApp. So um, she texted me and she asked if I would like to act. I'm proud to that I never acted once in my life. Not once. So I was like, I no, honestly, but my answer, I didn't tell her that. But I was like, well, what well, I told her was that I wouldn't really know because I, I never did it before. And, you know, yeah, but she was like, she sees something in me, feels like I'll be able to do it. Then, to be honest, I, I thought they wanted to even do that. She was like, I have to fly down to Italy. Well, for most of it, I don't know, I live in Italy. So, and she was like, okay, uh, I have to fly down to Italy. I just drove. Basically, I wasn't even really having it. She would text me, text me, text me, text me, and I wouldn't reply most of the time. I felt like, oh, yeah, 
not until I went to a guy's place and I told him about it. It was like, what was that? Like this opportunity. You don't know, you, you never know what's going to happen. It doesn't matter if you never had it because so he basically motivated me and to get straight to my head right. So that day, I rejected Ben Hansen and sold everything. Instead, I should send a monologue and I did, which was weird. That was the first time I put myself in the science arts. I was really there, but I presented it. She was impressed. That was it. So yeah, uh, so that was the end of school. Uh, I did my first job. Clayton Joshua then, took the Nollywood industry by storm after his outstanding performance in his first movie, When Angels Meet, a movie produced by Uche Nambonabo. He immediately started making waves in the Nollywood industry with his handsome looks, versatility, and captivating performances. The young actor has taken the Nollywood industry by storm with his exceptional skills and a deep passion for the act of acting. The relationship between Clayton Joshua and Uche Nambonabo is like that of a father and son relationship. Uche Nambunabo Bonabo is Clayton Joshua's father in Nollywood, although not his biological father, but he shot him to stardom by constantly featuring him in lead roles and guiding him in the movie industry. Facts about Clayton Joshua's personal life, relationship, or marriage. Clayton Joshua is not yet married and doesn't have any child as of 2024, and also he has not revealed any information about his girlfriend to the public. However, he has stated that he is open to love and marriage and hopes to find his soulmate soon. He also said that he prefers to keep his personal life private and away from social media. There is no information about his current girlfriend on the internet, although Clayton has been linked with actresses like Chinoye Nebe and Choma Eda, but that is not true as they are just mere colleagues in the industry. Of course, he's very close to some actresses and this is because they always work together in movies. Another fact about Clayton Joshua is that Clayton Joshua has not kissed any Nollywood actor in the movie industry since his debut in Nollywood. The actor has not revealed a specific reason why he hasn't kissed in movies, but I believe it has to do with his personal principles. Personally, I feel Clayton Joshua is quite very young and new in the industry. As a very young actor who is in his early 20s, Clayton Joshua has been stared with older actresses who are 5 years, 6 years and even 10 years older than him. As you already know, Clayton Joshua has started getting matured in our eyes. You know when he started acting, he has lead to job years with no side beers. But recently, we started to notice the actor developing side beers, which is a sign of maturity in men. So hopefully, we get to see Clayton Joshua kissing in movie very soon as he's getting matured and older. Although Clayton Joshua hasn't given information concerning his assets, his mansion, cars and other businesses. But by looking at his profile and considering the fact that he is highly sought after Nollywood actor right now and the amount of success he has achieved in such a short period of time, it is very obvious that he can afford any luxury life he wants. He can afford to travel for vacations, buy himself big mansions and luxury cars and of course he can afford to live the celebrity lifestyle. But sadly, Clayton Joshua doesn't show off his wet on social media. Nollywood actor Clayton Joshua is estimated to have a net worth of about 150,000 US dollars as of 2024. He gets his money from acting, endorsement deals, movie production, modeling, and lots more. If you watch to this extent, that means you enjoy this video. Please kindly hit on the red subscribe button and hit on the bell icon for notifications. Like, comment, and share this video. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hope you're good. Have fun, um, I didn't be now. Um. So uh, let's get into the question, shall we? My name is Clinton Joshua Ezewele, or Clinton Joshua for short, since most of you don't either know how to pronounce Ezewele or just ignore it most of the time. So Clinton Joshua Ezewele. Wait, 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 sorry, Clinton Joshua. <laughs> sorry, 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 Clinton Joshua. What was it? Uh, yeah, I am an actor, I'm a fashion model, uh, a businessman. When did you start your career as an actor? Hmm. Well, it's been a year now. I think my first film was out like November 2023. So yeah, yeah, it's been a year. When Angels Meets, go see it. Go see the movie, all right? When Angels Meets is showing on Uchina Mbunabo TV. Go see the film. It's a good watch. As a model, has your experience on the runway or in photo shoots inspired your approach to acting? If so, how? I'm not going to lie. Being a fashion model actually made it easy for me. You know, because... 
before I before I started acting, I had already been in front of cameras and everything. So, I mean, it just made it easy for me. I was in the entertainment industry before actually getting into the entertainment industry, if you understand what I mean. So, it just made it easier for me. It gave me confidence too. Yeah, it built my confidence and pretty much shaped my way of life in a way. So yeah, it has helped. What was your most challenging scene in a film? And what movie? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. I, I, honestly, let me be honest. Okay, I can't really recall. I can't remember what happened yesterday. So, right. <laughs> let's let's just forget about that. I can't remember. Honestly, once I'm done with the film, I'm done with that. On to the next one. What advice would you give to aspiring models and actors trying to break into the industry? Okay, so I, I usually get questions like, oh, advise me, um, give me some tips, what do I do? Honestly, I, I'm not in the best, I, wouldn't, I don't think I'm in the best position to give you advice because both my modeling career and my acting career was, I feel like it was just like given to me in a way. I never really wanted to do any of these things. I just found myself doing it. I mean, that's life. At the end of the day, if I have to, give you an advice. I would say, first of all, you should build yourself, work on yourself. That's your most important asset, yourself, okay? You have to build yourself, number one, and pray for opportunities. Once you get these opportunities you're looking for, you have to be on a particular level for you to prove yourself when you've gotten these opportunities. You understand? You can't get opportunities and then go mess it up. So you have to work on yourself first and pray to God for opportunities. And when those opportunities come, you kill it. Also, put yourself out there for people to see. You can't be in your room and be praying for a miracle to happen or don't push yourself online and expect one director to see you and be like, okay, notice your talent. Do you understand me? So just put yourself out there, man. <laughs> 24. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. And um, finally, that's everything we have for today. Um, I, the take home for today is, I'm sorry, you guys. I, no Vix, I mean, sorry. So yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it. One more thing, I want to say thank you guys, man. It's been a, an amazing journey filled with ups, downs, good times, bad times. You get me? I've, I've spoken too much, right? So it is what it is. Yeah, thank you. Love always. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. And uh, yeah, I'm leave you guys to it, right? And continue my run. All right, safe.